In Genesis 38, we encounter a cultural dynamic that's not often prevalent in our culture today. You see, in Genesis 38, we're introduced to a few names, but primarily the names of Judah and Tamar stand out. And as you read this chapter, you'll find out that Judah had promised his sons to Tamar because Tamar married one of Judah's oldest sons and he died. And culturally, the dynamic was the younger brother was to marry the wife of his deceased brother. But there's a problem. The sons kept dying. And so Tamar kept looking for that next brother. And Judah, at this point in his story, in his life, promised to give his next son in line to Tamar, but kept delaying. And eventually, Tamar did something. She deceived Judah into having relations with her and then got pregnant. And it's interesting. As we come to the close of this story, Judah says something that I want to draw our attention to here in Genesis chapter 38, starting in verse 26. It says, Judah recognized them immediately and said, she is more righteous than I am because I didn't arrange for her to marry my son, Shelah. And Judah never slept with Tamar again. See, Judah, when he realized what Tamar had done and really the error of his own ways that he did not keep his word, he repented. Now there's so much more in this story to share than just for our time together today. But this is one of the takeaway truths that I want to spend some time with you on today. And it's this, may our words line up with our actions. Judah made a promise and didn't follow through. Now Tamar's actions are not to be excused as okay for her deception. But the important thing to take away from today is that Judah did not produce what he promised. His word wasn't his bond. And as God's people, may we in our words, in our actions, in our follow through, may we be consistent. You know, the New Testament speaks about this truth that our, let our yes be yes and our no be no. May we be people that can be trusted for what we say, that when we promise to do something, we follow through. See, Judah recognizes something here. In the midst of all this sin and deception and challenge and weird cultural dynamics, he said, you know, I'm wrong. I did not follow through with what I promised to do. But aren't you thankful today that that's not who Jesus is? That's not who God is. God promised all the way back in Genesis chapter three to send a savior for us. And he made good on that promise in his son, Jesus. So today, be encouraged that God is faithful and be exhorted to be faithful, just like our heavenly father is, not like Judah was.